Welcome back to the second episode of Node.js MVC tutorial. In the first episode, we talk about how we can install Express.js and then how we can start the local server. And then we talked about Nodemon. So Nodemon will basically restart the server for us whenever we make some changes to the code. So that basically solves the issue while you need to restart the server every time you make some changes to the code that we have faced in the first episode. I will put all the code in the GitHub. So now I will clone this repository to my computer and I will and then I will show you how we can start working with the node mon. So I'll simply open this node MVC and we need to initialize this kit and we need to add the remote. Then we need to pull the code from GitHub from Git. And now we need to do npm install to install all the dependencies of our project. Okay, everything was installed. So I'll go ahead and say npm, I'm sorry, node index.js. And that will start the server and console log works for us if everything if everything goes just right. Okay, so now I'm gonna open the project with VS Code. So to do that I'll simply drag and drop this folder on the VS Code. So in the index.js as you can see we are running the server on 3200 port. And I will simply go to localhost colon 3200 port. And as you can see that we have the output from the pre previous episode, hello world, great, as whatever it is. What I'm going to do, I'm going to stop the server that we are running using node. So, control C, that will stop the server. To make things easy for us, we will install Nodebond globally. This will allow us to use Nodebond from any project without the project dependency as we have Nodebond package globally in our system. So let's do it. npm install Nodebond and dash g. So this dash g flag stands for global. That means Nodebond will be available from anywhere in, in our computer. So I'm going to hit return and it will install that for us. Okay, so that now I, we have the node mod. So now what we will going to do, instead of typing node index.js, we will type here node mod index.js. That means we are telling node mod to utilize this index.js file. So when I hit return, and there we go. Everything is working, but we have some extra lines of code met status messages here. So we're gonna re hit the refresh button and we're gonna change some text here so that means like we made some changes to our code on the file and as you can see that Nodemon automatically restarted the index.js file and it it will also tell you what command it it runs so that was node index.js so if I now simply hit refresh I can see the what changes that we have made in the file so nodemon basically will watch on all the files we have and once we change those file nodemon will automatically restart the node server for us and exactly that is being happening here so that solves the problem where where we need to restart the node server each and every time we make some changes to the file and things are made a whole lot easier for us by Nodemon. So thanks for watching this video and in the next episode we will talk about npm scripting. So we will make a custom npm start command where everything will be handled there to start the server. So stay tuned for the next episode and don't forget to subscribe that will really inspire me to continue. And follow me on Twitter for updates.